Welcome back everyone. Well, it's been almost uh, seven hours since we put our cube steak and uh, mushroom, cream of mushroom in the crock pot. And I think it's about time for us to sit down and have a nice evening meal. Let's take the lid off of this. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and uh, see what it looks like. Now, it you're going to get a vision of what it looks like, but you cannot tell how good this smells. You got your gravy, you got your onions, you got your cube steak, and like I said, you'll be able to cut that with a fork. You won't even need a knife. And along with that, we're going to have, if you'll slide over here, some broccoli. <laughs> that fucked me up. Yeah. <laughs> some broccoli. And we've got mashed potatoes. We're going to smother that with butter. And in the oven, I've got some rolls. So, bon appetit. I wish you were here. I wish you could smell it. You cannot beat it. We're going to put the uh, broccoli on a plate. Sprinkle some cheese over it. Put it in the microwave for just a minute to melt it. And we will be good to go. The cube steak, you can even have over your mashed potatoes. Or you can set the mashed potatoes off to the side with some butter on them. And eat the cube steak separately. Anyway, there's our cube steak in a crock pot. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'll try it. And if you do, let us know what you think. We would appreciate you hitting that like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and sharing it with your friends. Like I said, it's a simple meal. You don't have to worry about fixing anything fancy. Just throw it in the crock pot and let it cook all day and you'll be ready to eat. We appreciate you. We hope you'll come back and watch us again. And we thank you for visiting Larry and Amy's Kitchen.